Good morning guys, welcome back to my Ryzen 9 5900X Gigabyte Aorus Elite build video, sort of part two. Although this is a separate video, it is really continuing on from where I last left the last video. And if you haven't checked that out, I'll link it up above. So in my last video, I've built the system, as you can see in front of me. And when I powered it on and I went to do the very first boot, nothing happened and to be honest this was not a surprise to me i guess this was going to happen because i have an x570 motherboard and a ryzen 5000 series cpu because the 5000 series cpus come a little later than the x570 motherboards you need to flash the bios or use a previous generation CPU to pop into the board just so you can get things booted up and update the BIOS. So the reason I've wanted to make this video is so that it at least helps somebody else out there or even like myself who already was aware that this may happen to perhaps help you be more prepared because to be honest, I wasn't prepared and if you pre-prepare, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time. So in my predicament, I've gone from an X370 Asus Crosshair Hero 6, and that was using the very first generation Ryzen CPU, I had a 1700X. But the problem I've got, the 1700X does not work in an X570 motherboard, because they have been more tiered towards the 2000 series 3000 and the 5000. So, how was I gonna get the machine to boot? Well, I needed to update the BIOS. And the reason I picked out the Gigabyte ARS Elite motherboard is one, it's a very mid-tier board. It was a very reasonable price. Got it in a Black Friday deal last November. But one of the features of the motherboard is the reason I went for it. And to be honest, it's not exclusive to Gigabyte. A lot of the manufacturers have adopted this on the later motherboards. And what am I talking about? Well, if any of you Eagle Eye viewers out there would have noticed, I've got a USB stick on top of the PC. And what we're going to be looking at is a feature called a BIOS flashback. And what that's going to do, you're going to pre-install, and I'll go through how to do this, the BIOS onto the USB stick. And there's a special port on the back of the motherboard, which we'll take a quick look at, that we can use to solely, as long as the machine has got the 24 pin and the 12 volt power plugged in, you don't need any memory, CPU, anything else plugged into the motherboard, apart from the USB stick, and there's a little process we can use to flash the BIOS. Now, as I said, I was already aware of this. I thought I may run into this. And when you're building a system, you've always got your arse in your hands when the machine doesn't boot. But I preempted this, but what I didn't do was prepare. And I didn't get this ready beforehand. So if you are building an X570 motherboard, with a Ryzen 5000 series CPU and your motherboard has a BIOS flashback, get your USB stick ready before you build the machine. It will save you time. Right, we're going to spin the machine round. I'm going to show you the port that's used for the BIOS flashback. Guys, I'm just behind the camera at the moment and I want to bring your attention to the IO shield on the back of the motherboard. So on this board at the very top you've got four standard USB 2 slots, there's a HDMI connection. We've then got three, or I should say four, high speed USB 3 ports. There are two red USB 3.1 ports, your gigabit ethernet connection, SPDIF and all the sound connections. But paying particular attention to the USB ports, hopefully you can pick up on the camera. Four here would be blue for USB 3, apart from the fact that this one is white. And on the Gigabyte boards, it's coloured in white because I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but it says BIOS. And this is the USB BIOS flashback port. 
So if you've already prepared your USB stick, what you're gonna need to do is put that into the port, the white port that says USB. Now that that's plugged in, I will show you where on the motherboard we're gonna use the BIOS flashback feature. Guys, I'm just behind the camera at the moment. What I've done on screen, I'm highlighting there the white BIOS Q flash underscore plus button. That is your BIOS flashback button. Um, to locate it, it's really easy to find. If you look at the very bottom of your motherboard, just to the left hand side of the uh, BIOS battery, uh, it's next to the RGB lighting ports and that is the button that you're going to need to push. So as long as you've got your 24 pin power connector in and your 12 volt power pin connector in, You've put your USB stick in the white USB BIOS port. What you do, you come along and I'm just going to point towards it. That button there, you'd hold that button down until the uh, amber or yellow uh, QF LED light starts flashing. I'm just going to pop that up on screen so you've got some idea of what I'm talking about. You just hold the button in until the motherboard kicks into action. As soon as that QF LED is flashing away, you know it's reading the BIOS from the USB stick. Okay guys, so I've just shown you where we're gonna plug the USB into the back of the IO input on the motherboard and the button we're gonna to use to uh, start the process of the USB BIOS flashback. So what I want you to do, take a USB, plug it into your PC, and on mine it's popped up as the USB Drive E. The first thing you're going to need to do, and this is very important, is right click and you want to format the stick. Now, we've got a few options on here, and I'm going to ask that you pick for the file system FAT32. The reason for this is that the BIOS flashback requires FAT16 slash FAT32. Now most USB sticks these days are above 4 gigabytes, and you would probably be using NTFS. Now as far as I understand, I don't know whether it would read the USB stick as an NTFS stick. Well from what I un my understanding is it has to be FAT32. So whatever size your stick is, just format it as FAT32, it'll automatically do your allocation. Just do a very quick format, click start and get the USB stick formatted. Once your USB stick has finished formatting, you're going to need to go to the Gigabyte website as I've loaded up in the background. This is for the X570 Aorus Elite. So just on the right hand side here, you've got key features, specification and support. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on support. And as you can see, this has brought up a window where we've got the operating system. Just make sure that that's selected for your OS. Um, we're gonna be using Windows 10 64 bit. And here you'll see there's drivers and the 7 plus. But what we're interested in is the BIOS. So click on the BIOS and this will give you all the download, all the BIOS versions that you can download. So what you're going to want to do is download BIOS F33G. This is the latest BIOS. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little description uh, it's saying it's got the latest AG ESA update. That is the AMD micro code for the processor it fixes an l3 layer cache uh, performance issue on ryzen 5000 series cpus and it fixes stability issues with the usb ports so that's the one we definitely want to go ahead and download so i'm going to click on the little cloud icon and just in the bottom left there you can see it's downloaded we go into this folder We've got four files there that we're looking at. Now, autoexec.bat is a batch file that can run the flash utility. There is a readme.txt. 
is all we are interested for the USB stick is this file here, uh, the x570ae.33g. You could right click, copy, and then bring up your E drive and paste it into there. So that's just copying over. Now guys, before you go race enough to plug this into the USB BIOS flashback port, you need to do one more thing. And that is to rename this file to gigabyte.bin. Now it's really important that you do this part because otherwise the motherboard will not read the file. So you need to right click on it, click rename, and where it's selected the first part of the file name, you're going to want to come across, completely delete, and put gigabyte, G I G A B Y, gigabyte, and then dot, and then bin. It's quite important that you do that. And you are changing the file name type. We're going to click yes to that. So we've got gigabyte dot bin, and that USB stick is now configured and ready to go into your BIOS flashback port. Guys, so I'm just gonna wrap the video up now, but are some important points I just want to mention. So in this guide, I've showed you how to configure the USB stick to be plugged into the BIOS flashback port using the BIOS flashback button. But I just want to mention something that's really, really important before I end the video that while it's doing the BIOS flashback, do not at any point attempt to power the machine on or off. As long as the yellow light is flashing, as I've showed previously, it's doing what it needs to do. Now, when I was filming this, it did take a while. Obviously, when you're waiting on tender hooks for something, it seems to be longer than it actually is. And I turned the camera off because I was low on memory, the amount I'd already filmed. And what actually happened that when it finished doing what it needed to do, the light went off and the machine rebooted. All of the RGB on the motherboard come up, the actual uh, Kraken Z63 illuminates correctly, the memory come up. And I got the message uh, on screen saying that there was no operating system installed. At that point in time, I knew that the BIOS flashback had been successful. Right guys, that is it from me in this video. Continuing this build series in a next video, it will be coming up on the channel. I'm going to go through some of the BIOS settings I've set up on the motherboard that's really important to complete before you install Windows. Also on the channel, more Cyberpunk 2077 episodes coming up, and I'm gonna be going through a lot of my simulation games with more content and an update because now the speed of the Ryzen 9 5900X, it certainly, I've already give this a little test out uh, with the overclock on the CPU, I'm getting quite a little bit more frame rate than I did before. But anyway, that's all more videos coming up. If you enjoyed this and you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you very soon in more videos to come. Thank you for watching and peace out.